Uh, Republican Jim Jordan serves on both the Intel and Judiciary Committees. He is our headliner today. And, sir, thank you for your time and good, good morning good to morning. you. Good morning. I know you saw the story in the Washington Post about this uh, suggestion that Bill Barr is disputing some of the findings in um, the IG report. I'm told from a DOJ official, handle and read the Post story with caution. What can yeah. you add to that? No, I don't know if we can add much. We're going to know in a week, uh, well, six days, when Mr. Horowitz brings his report. I've always, I've always been, uh, uh, I've thought that Mr. Horowitz does good work. So we'll see what it, what it, what it looks like next week when it comes out. But never forget. The, the investigation I think that matters the most is the one that U.S. Attorney John Durham is doing, where he's going to have a broader look at the entire intelligence community and come back and tell us what happened in that summer of 2016 when the FBI spied on two American citizens associated with the presidential campaign. My guess is that's probably never happened in American history. So that's the investigation that matters the most, but I'll look forward to Mr. Horowitz's okay, report next week. Okay, but you know that Durham is at least six months away, probably. It's, it's going to be a while. Uh, we don't know the time frame for sure. What I also hope happens next week is that Jerry Nadler and Carol Maloney, the, the, the chairman of the Oversight Committee and the Judiciary Committee, I hope they have a hearing. Remember, three months ago, back in the summer, four months ago, when we had Mr. Horowitz's report on Comey's leak situation, they didn't even hold a hearing in the House of Representatives. When does that ever happen? So we know Senator Graham's going to hold a hearing next week. I hope they do in the House and get off this crazy impeachment strategy they've been on now for months and months. Well, we know that is where we are today. While the president's overseas, back at home, Democrats are moving forward with their push to impeach the president. House Judiciary first public hearing will be happening tomorrow. You've seen the list of witnesses. Yeah. What do you expect happens? I mean, these are professors. My guess is many of these professors were for impeaching the president even before the phone call even happened in July. Never forget, there were five members of the intelligence community, Democrat members, who, were, who voted to move forward with impeachment before the phone call even happened this past July. So, uh, I mean, look, we're 90 percent of the way down the road. Uh, the Democrats have been on this for months, and they're just now bringing in constitutional scholars to talk about the constitutionality of their impeachment proceedings. That seems a little backwards to me. But again, with these folks, you can never, uh, you, you never know what to expect as they've, uh, they've done this now for months and months. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. But uh, look, this whole thing is built on what Nancy Pelosi said two weeks ago Sunday when she called the President of the United States an imposter. They have never accepted the fact that 63 million Americans voted for Donald Trump on November 8, 2016 and made him president. He won an electoral college landslide. They have never accepted that fact. And for the Speaker of the House of Representatives to call the President of the United States an imposter is just wrong. But that underscores what they're trying to do. They have never accepted the will of the American people. And they've gone to this crazy impeachment strategy that we've seen unfold now for several months. Give us a sense of what you hear from your Democratic colleagues. They've extended this session. Uh, another week, December 20th, which is, which is a Friday, which seems to suggest that they're buying a little bit of time to go ahead and build in uh, the vote prior to Christmas. Do you yeah. believe that will happen? Or do you believe some of the others that are now reporting that there's some softening in the middle with moderate Democrats who suggest maybe the, the time to do this or even to pursue this is not now? but after the yeah. new year. Now, what is the truth based on what you know? I think it's both. I think there is a softening. They see the polls. They know the American people understand that the facts are on the president's side. The truth is on the president's side. But I think they're so far down there. They got the train so far down the tracks. I don't think they can stop it. I think they're going to move forward with this. Uh, I think it is wrong. I think the American people understand it's wrong. Four facts, Bill, four facts have never changed. We have the transcript of the call. There was no linkage between investigations of the Bidens and any type of financial assistance to Ukraine. We have the two guys on the call who said there was no pressure, no pushing. In fact, President Zelensky said that again this past weekend. We have the fact that the Ukrainians didn't even know the aid had been withheld at the time of the call. And most importantly, they never announced an investigation, never talked about doing an investigation, never did a CNN interview, nothing to get the aid released. Those facts have never changed. It's a funny thing about facts. They don't change. But the Democrats Democrats don't care because, as Nancy Pelosi said, they have never accepted the fact that the American people made Donald Trump president of the United mm -hmm. States. A couple more questions. Uh, House Judiciary, there's a possibility they'll hold more public hearings. Are you hearing anything on that front? And House Intelligence Committee, Fox is told that there could even be more closed door depositions. What do you know about all that? Well, I thought we were in the open stage of this, but tonight we're going to vote on uh, Chairman Schiff's report in a closed-door session. No transparency for the American people to see. We put our report out yesterday. Anyone can go read our report, the Republican report. Democrats are going to have a closed-door session at 6 o'clock tonight. 
I, I assume he won't allow us to offer the amendments. We're going to have lots of amendments. I assume the chairmanship won't even allow us to offer our amendments. So they continue to do this in the bunker in the basement of the Capitol. Uh, I think that is, that is wrong there. Next week, I, I do hear they're probably going to have a couple more hearings next week in the Judiciary Committee. What those exactly look like, I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Thank you, sir, for your time. Jim Jordan, we'll wait you for bet. 24 hours from now. Thank, Thank you, you in Washington.